You're watching Tag TV. Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. The state of Odisha has brought to stage some of the most mesmerizing dance and music festivals that speak volumes of the culture and traditions of the country. Organized in the honor of classical dancer and musician Guru Kelucharan Mahapatra, an award festival is held every year in Bhuvaneshwar city of Odisha where artists present their crafts and are felicitated for their contribution to the cultural scenario of India. The atmosphere of the Rabindra Mandap in Bhubaneswar city of Odisha reverberated with the symphony of melodious classical numbers as a number of artists from all over the country presented their craft on this prestigious platform. The scene was witnessed at the 28th edition of the OMC Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra Award Festival, an event which promotes and honours artists who are contributing to the Indian classical dance and music scenario. Instituted by Shrajan, the event came back to the stage after being organised virtually for the last two years due to the pandemic. ये जो OMC गुरु कलुचन महापत्र अवार्ड फेस्टिवल है उसका ये खासियत है कि हमारे गुरुजी गुरु कलुचन महापत्र जी सिनेमा म्यूजिक थिएटर डांस के साथ जुड़े हैं तो उसी क्षेत्र से जितने भी कलाकार हैं उनको जूरी के माध्यम से चयन करके फिर बाबा के नाम पे मतलब बाप गुरुजी के नाम पे अवार्ड दिया जाता है उनको हर साल और ये 28th ईयर है और हर साल बाहर से बहुत सारे कलाकार लोग यहां आते हैं और जिस समय उनका कला का प्रदर्शन करते हैं और यहां का भी बहुत सारे ऐसे कलाकार हैं जो इस मंच पर प्रदर्शन ऑलरेडी कर चुके हैं तो इससे क्या होता है कि इट इज इट बिकम्स ए अमलगम ऑफ कल्चर डिफरेंट कल्चर एक्सचेंज ऑफ कल्चर और एक बॉन्ड क्रिएट होता है हम लोगों में हा? मतलब जैसे महाराष्ट्र है वेस्ट बंगाल है उड़ीसा है तो हर राज्य के साथ हम उड़ीसा बासी उड़ीसा हम लोग जुड़ जाते हैं दिस ईयर्स प्रोग्राम इंक्लूडेड अ डाइवर्स कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ म्यूजिक डांस एंड आर्ट परफॉर्मेंसेस द इनॉग्रल इवनिंग विटनेस्ड अ मिसमराइजिंग म्यूजिकल परफॉर्मेंस बाय पंडित रोनू मजुमदार हु प्लेड द फ्लूट एंड उस्ताद तौफीक कुरैशी हु वाज ऑन द जेम्बे Another notable performance was that of Padma Shri awardee Geeta Chandran and her ensemble Natya Vriksha Dance Collective. The ensemble presented a new version of Bharatanatyam where traditional moves were performed on western classical tracks. Bharatanatyam ki vocabulary ko rakhte hue ऋतु संहार जो कालिदास का है उसका कंटेंट रखते हुए म्यूजिक लेकिंग हमने वेस्टर्न क्लासिकल म्यूजिक यूज़ किया चाइकॉफ्सकी का तो इसमें हमने बहुत जगह इसको इसकी प्रस्तुति करी है और बहुत लोगों ने सराहा है तो हमने कहा ऐसे मंच में उसको करने से कैसा रहेगा हम भी थोड़े से इसमें थे लेकिन आपने तो देखा किस तरीके से ऑडियंस को ये बहुत अच्छी लगी तो मेरे ख्याल से नृत्य जैसी एक पारंपरिक एक ट्रेडिशनल हमारी जो धरोहर है ये बहते एक रिवर की तरह है हम बैंक्स डिफाइन करते हैं इसकी वोकेबलरी डिफाइन करते हैं लेकिन इसका बहाव जो है वो बहते रहना चाहिए सृष्टि स्वरपा मिश्रा अ यंग राइजिंग उड़ीसी वोकलिस्ट गेव अ मेलोडियस परफॉर्मेंस दैट लेव द ऑडियंस स्पेल बाउंड शी कमेंस द रिसाइटल विद द सरस्वती वंदना बिफोर मूविंग टू रागंगा गायन एंड सैंग इन राग मुखारी एंड एकातली Her final presentation was a popular Odissi composition Nahi ke Kari Dela. Audiences and art lovers were enthralled to witness the wide variety of performances which were a beautiful portrayal of arts and culture.
and it was a wonderful evening i've come all the way from kolkata and i didn't expect that uh, right on the first day itself i'll be treated to this beautiful music by ronu mojumdar and also by taufik and it was really good and uh, the young tabla player was just wonderful and i have no words to express my feelings and the audience enjoyed it like anything and that was also another experience to see the reaction of the audience and since i am a writer i'll be writing on all those things Guru Keluchuran Music and Dance Festival not only is a platform for artists to present their crafts but also plays a major contribution in spreading awareness about the culture and heritage of Odisha on various national and international platforms. Every festival in India represents the sense of brotherhood and syncretism beholden among the diversified population of the country. Emboldening this fact, a Muslim man in Hyderabad has been installing a Ganesh idol every year to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi and people from both Hindu and Muslim religions visit the pandal. Take a look. Communal harmony is a required facet for maintaining peace and tranquility in a multicultural and diverse society like India. Examples of the peaceful and harmonious coexistence of the citizens could be easily spotted in different nooks and corners of the country. One such example is that of a Muslim man, Muhammad Siddiqui, who installed a Ganesh idol in Hyderabad city of Telangana and took care of the pandal depicting communal harmony and brotherhood mai 18 years se ganesh laga raha hu ab mai muslim ho ke bhi mai laga raha hu bole to mere dosa bhi hindu hai mai iftar karaye jab na bhi usme maamul rehte shamil rehte so bhi pure mai acha rehte mai wo kya hai mai chanadan mai is karat aisa kuch bhi nahi hai wo message bol ke nahi mai channa dan kara tu pura mai dekh le to mere permission rehne do kosa rehne do mere naam pe rehta police wale aaye to bhi mere ko hi puchte the city of hyderabad has a heterogeneous population hindu and muslim religious communities reside harmoniously in this city and celebrate each other's festivals with full enthusiasm For the last 18 years, Muhammad Siddiqui has been setting up a Ganpati Pandal, and not just Hindus but Muslims also visit the pandal and offer their prayers to the deity. Two 45 kg laddus were offered to the deity as prasad, and the idol was then immersed in water after nine days. Locals have been appreciating the noble deeds of Muhammad Siddiqui. हर साल इधर आके हम इधर का त्योहार देखते हैं। और इधर जो गणेश का मूर्ति है इतना बड़ा मूर्ति मूर्ति भी अच्छा है और इधर पूजा पाठ करने के बाद सबके घर में भी शुभ होना शुभ हो जाते हैं और इधर सेक्युलर की चीज हैदराबाद में आए तो सेक्युलर की बात करते हैदराबाद एक 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 टाइम पे इधर हम लोगों के पास आके ये त्योहार को कैसा मनाते हैं हम लोग मिल जो भेदभाव बीच में नहीं लगा के जो अच्छा से जज्बा से हम इधर का त्योहार मनाते Examples like these could easily be seen in almost all cities and districts of India making the country an epicenter of peaceful coexistence. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood celebrities raised the glamour quotient as they attended the OTT Play Awards 2022 in India's Western Mumbai city. Actors Kartik Aryan, Vidya Balan, Farhan Akhtar, Neha Dupia, Hina Khan, Manoj Bajpayee and Zareen Khan were some of the famous personalities who were present at the event. It was organized to appreciate the talent and content on online entertainment platforms. I think jo sabse aham cheez hui hai OTT platform se is that everybody no matter you know who they are there's people have had the ability to break out of a box. तो चाहे वो स्टोरी टेलिंग हो चाहे वो स्क्रिप्ट हो चाहे वो कैरेक्टराइजेशन हो यू नो देर इज वर्क फॉर एवरी वन एंड एज लॉन्ग एज यूर गुड एज लॉन्ग एज यूर डेडिकेटेड एंड आई ऑल्सो फील लाइक दे से दैट मुंबई इज द लैंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी आई ऑल्सो थिंक ओ टी टी इज द लैंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी 
Kartik Aryan and Tapsi Pannu won the Best Actor Award in the Popular Film category along with Farhan Akhtar and Vidya Balan in the Jury category. Jai Bhim was awarded the Best Web Original Film in the Popular category and Sher Shah in the Jury category. The Sui and the Family Man won the Best Web Series in the Popular and Jury category respectively. Unwavered by Down syndrome, an Indian girl is excelling in yoga despite her disability and is now called the rubber girl of the country. Vijay Zanzarukia, the father of 14-year-old Anvi, recalls his angst as a parent of bringing up a child with disabilities. Uska pura shrey uski mummy ko jata hai. क्योंकि उसके जो बड़ी आंत जो खराब होने के वजह से पेट में जो गैस रहती थी वो हर रोज जब भी सोती थी तब उल्टी ही सोती थी और पैर मानो अपने सिर के पास लेके सोती थी उल्टी सोती थी तब उसकी मम्मी को ये विचार आया कि इतने बाय गॉड गॉड गिफ्टेड इसको इतनी फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी अगर शरीर में है बॉडी में है तो क्यों ना हम इसमें जिम या एरोबिक्स या योगा में आगे बढ़ाए the uncertainty persisted until her mother realized that their child, who has almost 75% intellectual disability, is blessed with elastic-like flexibility to bend her body. Earlier this year, Anvi, who hails from Western Surat City, backed the National Child Award for her exceptional achievement in yoga. India is gearing up to welcome cheetahs that had gone extinct in the country but were scheduled to be reintroduced after the arrival of the first batch from Namibia to central Madhya Pradesh state. The world's fastest land animal was declared extinct in India in 1952, reportedly due to poaching and habitat loss. But with the government's decision to reintroduce the animal, eight cheetahs, including five females and three males, will be translocated from Namibia to Kuno National Park. हम बैच चीता का लाया जा रहा है या नामीबिया से लाया जा रहा है और इसमें आठ चीता हम ला रहे हैं इसमें से पांच फीमेल हैं और तीन मेल चीते हैं और ये पूरा प्रयास अभी तक जो प्लान है हमारा उसके हिसाब से ये सत्रह तारीख के सुबह यहाँ पे आ जाएंगे चीते हम कार्गो एक चार्टर्ड कार्गो प्लेन हायर करके वेंडहॉक नामीबिया के जो कैपिटल है वहाँ से वो जयपुर आएगा और जयपुर से फिर हेलीकॉप्टर के माध्यम से सीधे वो यहाँ पालपुर में हेलीपैड ऑलरेडी निर्माण हो चुका है और यहाँ पे आएगा और उसके बाद ही उसके रिलीज करने का कार्यक्रम होगा इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विल विजिट द पार्क ऑन इज सेवेंटी सेकेंड बर्थडे एंड लॉन्च द चीता री इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोजेक्ट प्रेपरेशन वर इन फुल स्विंग इन द रीजन वेयर वर्कर्स वर रेडिंग अलीपैड फॉर द अराइवल ऑफ द चीता Sufism has not only flourished in India but has also developed as a way of bringing together various religious groups even today people still live by the teachings of these saints and this was very well reflected during the special prayers held at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Amir Abulullah Naqshbandi Ehrari when people of all religions gathered to seek the blessings of the holy saint the city of Taj is not only well known for its rich culture and magnificent architecture but also for having a diverse population that is representative of a cross section of India's various religious communities. The shrine of Sufi Saint Hazrat Amir Abul Ullah Naqshbandi Ehrari which is an oasis of serenity and tranquility has a significant role in uniting individuals from many communities. To perpetuate his teachings of oneness and communal harmony, special prayers were organized on the occasion of 383rd Urs or death anniversary of the saint, which was attended by people of different faiths. जरगा का तो ये है कि यहाँ तो हर धर्म का लोग आते हैं, हिंदू भी है, मुसलमान भी है, हर तरीके से वो काफी दूर-दूर से भी आते हैं। बस ये एक सबकी मनोकामनाएं पूरी होती हैं तो यहाँ कोई ऐसा जात बिरादरी का कोई ऐसा इशू भी नहीं है और सब अपने मनोकामना से अपने श्रद्धा से यहाँ हम बहुत सालों से आ रहे हैं इसमें कोई भेदभाव नहीं है अपने भाईचारे रिश्ते से आ रहे हैं अपनी मुराद लेके आ रहे हैं और मुराद के साथ ही अपनी जा रहे हैं इसलिए हम हर जब भी वक्त मिलता है जब भी टाइम मिलता है तभी तभी आते हैं दी उर्स ऑफ सरताज आगरा वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज एट लश्करपुर एरिया इन आगरा सिटी 
More than 1 lakh people attended the five-day long celebration. Coming from far and wide, these devotees attended the prayers to seek the blessings of the holy saint. For the last two years, the Urs was not being organized due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. आज पुल की रसम अदा की गई जिसके अंदर मुल्क के तमाम लोगों के लिए जो है अमन चैन भाईचारे की दुआएं मांगी गई लोगों की बीमारी शफा के लिए आता दुआएं मांगी गई मुल्क को जो है तरक्की के लिए दुआएं मांगी गई जो है और ये दो साल के बाद में उर्स मनाया जा रहा है तो इस साल जो है भीड़ भी जो है पिछले सालों के मुकाबले में बहुत ज्यादा भीड़ नजर आ रही है क्योंकि दो साल से लोग बार जो यहां के दीदार के लिए तरस रहे थे आज वो जो है सब जो है वो लोग यहां पर हाजिर हैं और उन्होंने अपने अपने अकीदत जो है यहां पर पेश किए द मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड कम्स आउट लार्ड फ्रॉम दीस दरगाहस एंड दीस साइट्स हैव बीन एक्टिंग एज सिंबल्स ऑफ कम्युनल हार्मनी फॉर एजेस इंडिया हैज अ ग्रेट हिस्ट्री ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट्स Each part of the country has a set of its own cultural ethos which are manifested in the handicrafts and handloom products of that particular region. In order to preserve these traditional handicrafts and handloom products, an exhibition was recently organized in Guwahati city of Assam. The handloom industry in India has a long tradition of outstanding artisanship that represents and preserves the vibrant Indian culture. Be it hand weaving, spinning or printing different styles, India's handloom industry puts a show of item with a variety of textures, styles and prints that have now started garnering praise worldwide. Recently, an exhibition was organized in Guwahati city of Assam where artisans showcase their handmade indigenous handloom products. The motive behind organizing this event was to promote natural fibers and indigenous handloom produce above synthetic and man-made fibers. We have been doing this from uh, 2014. So, ये ऐसा एक exhibition है जो Calcutta में बहुत ही famous है. ये खाली जो natural products है उसी के ऊपर हम लोग करते हैं. Natural fibers जो है उसी के ऊपर होता है. यहाँ पे कोई synthetic या artificial fibers नहीं चलता है. So, jute, wool, silk, cotton, linen. These are the five six materials who can exhibit in our exhibition. So that is the main thing that we want to promote artisans and weavers who are working with natural fibers. The five-day exhibition was organized at the Satyanath Bora Hall in Guwahati city by Loom Weaves. Artisans from a number of different states, union territories, organizations showcased their handloom products. The exhibition provided major attraction to people as not only handloom products but handicrafts heritage products fashion and beauty articles household products and more were put at display ha yahan pe pehli baar hai hamari sanstha hai ngo hum logon ka disha shekhawati sanstha hum log churu shekhawati se hain aur ye hamara shibori work hai matlab ye japanese technique hai hamara ngo mein more than 400 ladies kaam karti hai मतलब ये हम आपको विंडो या तलाक शुदा विधवा इस टाइप की औरतें जो दुखी है जिनके पास कोई काम नहीं है तो हमारा एन जी ओ उनको काम देता है इट इज इवेंट्स लाइक दीज दैट नॉट ओनली प्रोवाइड प्लेटफॉर्म टू लोकल आर्टिसन फॉर शो कैसिंग दियर प्रोडक्ट्स बट ऑल्सो प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन मेकिंग पीपल अवेयर अबाउट द स्किल्स एंड क्रिएटिव इंट्रिकेसिस इन्वॉल्व इन मेकिंग दीज प्रोडक्ट्स And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. A suburban Chicago farm that boasts of having the world's largest corn maze is celebrating the 60th anniversary of the world's most fictional secret service agent. The intricate maze features over 10 miles of trails. and sits on 28 acres in Spring Grove, Illinois, north of Chicago. Because we're 
50 miles, 60 miles out from Chicago. Um, and there's so many people in the suburbs, but they're inundated with just millions of messages of things to do. And so we thought, well, we need to stand out a little bit. So we decided we'll be the world's largest corn maze. The character James Bond or 007 was first created by writer Ian Fleming in 1953. Now Bond is a household name thanks to the perpetually popular books and films. The first Bond flick ever released was Dr. No, starring Sean Connery in 1962. Fast forward 60 years to 2022, London-based Eon Productions has put out a total of 25 Bond movies that altogether have garnered over $7 billion to date, making it the fifth highest grossing film series of all time. Richardson says the maze is made using high-tech corn planter tractors outfitted with GPS and special shutoffs. So as the tractor travels across the field, corn seed is dropped to plant the maze pattern down to the tiny details of their chosen design. Bidding funeral to a deceased loved one is the most crucial ritual one has to perform in his lifetime. These rituals have evolved over time due to alterations in social structures and increase in the number of single-person households. Adding to the cause in making funerals memorable, an exhibition was recently organized in Tokyo city of Japan, where companies offering funeral services and items showcase their products. The changes in social structure and the coronavirus pandemic have made Japanese companies to develop services that are more compact and less formal. The prime focus is being laid to emotionally being associated with the deceased while keeping ceremonies and the burial compact. The Arikata project is a venture jointly produced by the Mintera division and Rokumedo which offers memorable items and products that can be passed on to the next generation by placing a memento of the deceased and a message in a wooden box. The main objective behind the idea is connecting the thoughts and feelings of loved ones for the deceased. コンパクトにすることが目的ではないんですが、どうやったらその自分たちのその思いとか、自分たちのその生きたその考えを含めて交成につなげて仲間に含めて伝えることができるかっていうことで、まあたくさんそういうタッチポイントを思い出してもらえ
participants can also join a game in which they interact with others and perform tasks like opening doors, laying a hand on Jesus' tomb, and placing a prayer note at the western wall. The VR tour and a game feature are a mixture of 360-degree videos and models made from 3D scanning, which are meant to give the participant a sense of engagement. Blimey's technology is also incorporated and being used in museum spaces around the world. Gifts have long been an expression of love and admiration. We all try to give special gifts to our loved ones to express the feelings that are usually unsaid. Adding to the art of gifts and making them more customized and special, an exhibition of household goods and gifts was recently held in Tokyo, where manufacturers advertise their products to potential buyers. Tourists and foreign buyers love buying Japanese traditional crafts as gifts and souvenirs. This is a chopstick manufacturer firm in Fukui Prefecture in Japan. These beautiful chopsticks are decorated with traditional crafts with wakasa nori written on them. Wakasa nori to yimasu no wa ano tamago to kai kai gara o tsukatta ano togi dashi to yimashite nansou ni mo urushi o nori kasanete toide nori kasanete toide sore o gendai fu ni arrange shite iruということになっております。インバウンドだけではなくてですね、国内のお客様を含めて買い物ができないような状況ですので、やはりあの早く落ち着いてですね、あのまた普段のように戻っていただいて、あの私どものお話を愛していただけたらなというふうに思います。Japanese traditional crafts have always been attracting foreign tourists and visitors who are mesmerized by the beauty of culture and traditions in Japan. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ANIN.com. I'm your host, Uzma, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>